Hello everyone, welcome back to the Onshape for FTC mini series. Today, I'll go over part studios which are used to create and edit parts. When modeling a part, there are two building blocks called sketches and features. A sketch is 2D, as you can see right here, and a feature is 3D. A part studio comes with G default geometry, the front plane, top plane, right plane, and the origin. The origin can be used as a point of reference for 3D models. You can hide or show these default entities by selecting the eye icon in the feature list on the left. In order to start a new sketch in a part studio, click the pencil in the features toolbar and the sketch dialog will open. Then select a plane to sketch on. It is important to choose the correct plane because that will determine the part's orientation. For example, if you're sketching the front profile of a part, it should be sketched on the front plane. Every time you sketch, you should align yourself with the sketch plane. And the first thing we will sketch is a line. Select the line sketch tool or use the keyboard shortcut L. There are two different clicking methods to, to sketch a line. The first method creates many connected lines. Left click at needed endpoints and move the mouse in between the clicks. The second method is to click and drag. This produces a single line instead of several connected lines. To exit the line tool, click the escape key on your keyboard. The line sketch tool is the most basic sketch tool. You can use other tools to create rectangles, circles, arcs, and other shapes. There are two types of rectangle sketch tools, a corner and a center rectangle. The corner rectangle requires you to click two diagonal points to define the rectangle. The keyboard shortcut for the corner rectangle is G. To create a center point rectangle, click the center point, then one corner point. The keyboard shortcut is R. When the little boxes show up, you can input the size of the rectangle. And when you're done with the length, you can click enter and then it will go to the other one. To create a center point circle, select the tool or the keyboard shortcut C and click where the center point of the circle should be. Then move the mouse out and click again to place the perimeter of the circle. A three-point arc can be created by clicking the two endpoints of the arc, then clicking a third time to define the arc. The keyboard shortcut for a three-point arc is A. You can use the dimension tool or the keyboard shortcut D to add dimension to entities. To define a length, click on a line once with the dimension tool selected. Then click again to place the dimension. Input a value and press enter. You can input any number with a unit after it and then Onshape will convert the number into the unit that's used in your part studio. For example, right here, I'll put in one inch. Clicking on a circle or arc in the same manner places a diameter or radius dimension.
you can also add a dimension between two entities. The same technique can be used to create an angle dimension between two lines. Dimension values can be edited by double clicking on the number. They can also be removed by selecting the dimension and pressing the lead on the keyboard. The goal of a sketch is to create 3D features on top of it. Sketches must contain closed regions to apply the sketch to a feature. If the region is not shaded, a feature cannot be created. You will need to make sure the lines form a loop. For example, this is not connected, as you can see right here. But if I connect the endpoints, it will be closed. Click the green check mark in the left corner to confirm the sketch. Now we exited the sketch dialog, 3D features can be made. Click this button right here or shift E to access the extrude tool. Extrude, adds, subtracts, or intersects depth to selected sketch regions. For now, we'll be using add. Click on the area that you want to add material and input how deep you want it to be. And then click the green check mark. This is the end for this video. In the next video, I'll go over how to make this prism and more things that you can do in a part studio. See you next time.